I really prayed before I did this episode because I really just know that as, as we're about to talk about motherhood and entrepreneurship, I know that um, I'm not an expert. Like I, I'm not the the one stop shop. This is exactly how it works person for this, but I do have an experience and I do have some thoughts. And I also spend my time surrounding myself with other women who are moms and entrepreneurs. And so I've learned a lot from being in rooms with them, which is exactly why I've created a room for you too, especially if you are a six or seven figure um, female entrepreneur. So if you haven't heard about the Marketing Matters Mastermind, I want to invite you to apply. You can click the link below this episode and apply to really spend your time with other women who are growing their businesses and also have families and dreams and goals. And um, it's just a really special place to put yourself in a room with other people who inspire you and encourage you and challenge you and hold you accountable. And it is the experience that has changed my business the most. And that is me investing in coaching and a mastermind. And so now I'm so excited to have the opportunity to create my own group with ladies like you who are achieving big things and want to challenge each other and just scale everything that you're doing. So if you are earning six or seven figures, I would love for you to click below and apply to be a part of the mastermind. And if you're not at the six or seven figure place yet, what I want to do is help you get there. In fact, that is why the find your leads challenge is the very perfect place for you to start. Um, and honestly, the find your leads challenge, whether you are just starting out or have a bunch of momentum that you've built, it's still a really good place for you to learn the strategy that you can have to be able to scale, whether you're scaling from zero to a hundred or from a hundred to a million. So if you are ready to be in a community of other ladies, please click below to see if you qualify for the mastermind. Otherwise, I would love to meet you inside the Find Your Leads Challenge, which is coming up soon. So today, it's kind of, you know, Mother Mother's Day, I'm, I'm recording this and Sunday is Mother's Day as I record this. And I just know Mother's Day can be really special. Mother's Day can also be a challenging time for many people. And anytime I talk about like motherhood in general, sometimes I just, I care so much about the women that I get to work with that I just want to make sure that the message is received well and from the right place in my heart. So if you've listened to most episodes by now, I think you, you know where my heart is and it's coming from a place of, I just believe that you can have both. I really believe that you can be a successful mom and a successful entrepreneur and success may look different for you versus what it looks like for me versus what it looks like for some of the other ladies I get to work with. It can really vary. But at the end of the day, you feeling fulfilled and so proud of the business that you have and the impact that it's having on other people and you feeling so proud of the relationship that you have with your kids and your spouse, it really matters. And I really believe that you can have both. And as I share with you kind of my thoughts for today, I'm just, I just want you to know I'm not perfect either. My husband and I had a conversation at the beach last week about how I am, I, I can still improve at this and I'm aware of that. And I feel like we can always get better at everything. I don't feel like there's a single thing I've, you know, can't, can't improve at. I, I improve my own marketing every day. Like I, I, I'm really good at it, but like, there's always an iteration in a, in a next level. And so I am working on finding like the guardrails and boundaries and mindset that helps me be the best mom and the best business owner too. Because I, I was talking to, um, someone that is about to enroll in the mastermind and she's, she's a mom as well. And we were talking about how, <clears throat> like you, you care about your kids so much. They're your heart. They're, they're literally your flesh outside your body and, or can be whatever it, it's your kids and you love them so much. And also you love how your business gets to impact other people too. It's like, we get to impact these lives that we've created or adopted or been able to be a part of. And then we also get to impact these lives of the other people that we serve in our business. And I just think that's so special. But, it, but it's still impact. And so many of you, I think you think constantly about your kids and your family and you think constantly about your business, right? And so it's like, how do you balance both? And um, I wanted to tell you a, a story 
because I'm still working on it. So one of the ladies in the mastermind, she is an ADHD coach for college students. And so if you have a college student or know a college student who has ADHD is in, and is in college, um, I would love for, I would love to like let you meet Amy because Amy is absolutely incredible, but she's in the mastermind and she has three kids who are older. And obviously I'm a younger mom. Mine are um, about to be one and about to be four. And I was just talking, I, I think I posted, yeah, I posted a reel about how it's just like a constant like challenge for me to figure out what is the balance because I just love them. I love it all so much. And she was telling me just to not give myself too hard of a time because she has three kids that are in a lot of different activities and in college and she gets to be there for everything. Some of the moms like see her there and everywhere. And they're like, how, where, how are you able to just be off work this much? And, you know, because she's an entrepreneur, she gets to do whatever she wants, whatever she wants. And especially when you're successful, especially when money is not an issue or a challenge, you really can be anywhere and everywhere. And so I was thinking about how the best gift, the best gift that you can give your kids is being an entrepreneur. Because what that means for you is you never, ever, ever have to ask someone else for permission to be with your kids. You never have to ask, ooh, can I do this? Ooh, ooh, nope, the answer is just yes, because you're it. You're the leader, you're the boss, you run the thing. And so I've heard, and you may have heard before, that you get to choose your hard, right? You get to choose, is it hard staying at this revenue goal? Or is it hard investing and going all in to get to this revenue goal? Like you get to choose, it's either hard to stay where you are, or it's hard to make the decision to change and be better and challenge yourself and take a risk. And when I think about where I'm at now, I think about how, you know, with mastering a skill, it takes time to master it. But when you master a skill, it can pay you back forever. And so I think about marketing and it's like, man, it, it can take people time to learn marketing skills. But if marketing skills are the one thing that allow people to find you so that your business can grow for the rest of your life, you have a thriving business and you don't ever have to ask another person to be with your kids. And whether you have one kid or 900, you can be there for everything like Amy did, Amy shared. And I just think that that's why, yeah, sometimes entrepreneurship is so challenging. It makes you want to hit your head on a wall sometimes. Sometimes it's the funnest thing in the whole world. And it gives you the opportunity to impact other people's lives and the lives of your kids. And it gives you time. When you have a successful business, you get time back. You can honestly buy your time so that you can spend more time with the people, the very people that you love. So I think that's really special. Um, and, and one of the things I think about as a mom and, and kind of what entrepreneurship like offers your kids is it allows you to advise your kids and coach your kids and support your kids from a place, not of like theory or hypotheticals, but rather from a place of experience. When your kids face hard things and they can come to you and say, mom, I know you experienced some hard things. Can you, can you tell me like, how would you overcome this? Or when your kids are older, one of my, one of the things my coaches said the other day, which was so good. She said, your kids need you less when they're older, right? Or do they? Because if their mom is someone who is wise and has been successful and can offer value to them, then what that means is when your kid is going to a job interview and they, they know that they can call you to help coach them through that interview. Like, I want my sons to say, hey, mom, I'm about to take a big risk. Hey, mom, I had a dream. I had a vision for this new thing. Hey, mom, I'm really scared, but I think this is the right thing I should do. Um, I want them to come to me with all those hey, moms, hey, moms, hey, moms forever because they know that their mom has been there and done that. And their mom is not going to be like, play it safe, honey, play it safe. Um, but that's scary that you want to start your own thing. It's probably safer to go over here. And, you know, I, I just stayed in the same place and I just did the, no, 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 no. They're going to have someone that they can come to and say, this doesn't make sense to anybody else. This is risky. This is not guaranteed. And I will be able to operate from a place of experience and say, you can do it, babe. 
<laughs> my boys. Oh gosh. Whew. Okay, I'm not going to click pause, but I love them so much. And I want them to pursue anything and everything that they they really believe in and to and to think that my experience could truly be the be the very thing that pushes them into their confidence and in stepping into what they're called to do um is a really cool feeling um and I want that for them so bad and I, I know that I'm going to be able to offer that to them because of the experience that comes with being an entrepreneur and being a mom and when they are considering quitting I will be able to advise and, and share some stories and some perspective that says here here's here's why you may not want to quit here's what that could look like here's my story here's a story of the women I've been able to work with too like I'm gathering up all these stories to share with them what is possible for them by being an entrepreneur and, and you're you're getting to do that same thing one of the things I was thinking about is how cool would it be when my kids are older and they just they see what, whether I'm speaking on stage or whether I'm just sitting there at their baseball game, just cheering them on because I'm able to be there. I'm able to fly. I don't, I don't stress about flying to like all these different places where they're playing. I'm like, let's go. It's not an issue. Like money is not an issue. That's like putting a barrier in between me being there with them or you being there with your kids because money simply is not an issue. That's the vision that I create. And I just want my kids to be on the baseball field or be on whatever activity they're doing and look over and be like that's that's my mom and they're really proud um and I'm not saying that that comes with a certain revenue goal that comes with a certain experience what I am saying is that there is so much value that taking risks and generating experiences and results can offer your kids my coaches sent out an email about Mother's Day and it was this quote, and it was from Ed Milet, and he said, one of the most insidious forms of child neglect is a parent who doesn't chase their dreams and potential. And what they said in their email, they said, you think you're being selfless and making yourself more available to your kids, but as a result, you're actually harboring some resentment or some sadness or some regret because there's like an unfilled hole in your heart of your unlived life and your untapped potential and the impact, like all those could have. And so I had never thought about it like that. And it's just a reminder that everything that you're doing, everything that you're learning, even when it's not working for you, it's working on you. And it is so worth it. I want you to hear today that even if you feel like no one else sees your vision, but you, even if you feel like you should have been more successful by now, even if you feel like it's too late to start. You can do this. You can do this. And you can be your own biggest advocate. And what a lesson and testament to your kids will that be? I don't care if you are 18 or 98. Okay. It does not matter. It is not too late to start. If you have been given another day, you've been given another opportunity for you to go chase your dreams. Because I don't want you to have an unlived life either. And I just know how grateful future you will be for going all in on your dream. Because what I don't want is for me or you or anybody to get there at the end of our life and, and have regrets on what could have been. Because gosh, you, you do not know if you are guaranteed another day. You don't. And when you keep pushing off your dream, your dream, your dream, next year, next year, next quarter, next month. You are doing a disservice to the people that you and uniquely you can serve and can help. So from one mom to another, I just want you to know, even if your spouse isn't on the same page, even if your best friends don't get it, even if people who you talk to about this, they just don't seem to get it. I want you to know there's a group of other women who have their own version of a dream that maybe only they get. And there's a space for you and there's a place for you. and I read recently that just one person in your life can make a really big difference on your trajectory. And I have a list of people right now 
that I can say like on one hand that I'm like, these people were pivotal people in my life. And if it weren't for these people believing in me or encouraging me or supporting me, I would not be where I am today. And so one person can make a really big difference. Now, yes, that could be a coach. That could be me working with you. That could be you working with someone else, but it could also be you for your kids. You could be that person and you stepping into your full potential, you going all in, you painting a crystal clear version of why you want what you want and relentlessly taking action to get there will be the very thing that could impact your life, your family's life, your kid's life, and their kid's life. And that's what you really want, right? You want to live a life where you don't have regrets. You want to live a life where you can impact the people you were created to serve in your business. And you want to live a life that allows you to impact others, but also impact your own life, including that of your kids. So I want you to know that there's enough money for all of us, including you. Okay. There, there's so much and we're just getting started. I mean, I feel like I'm just getting started. These six figure months that have been generated in the past, like multiple six figure months in the past few months seems unreal to me. I still feel like I'm catching up to where I'm at, but I know that it is because I've surrounded myself with other people who have challenged me and encouraged me. And I have this crystal clear vision of my RV summer with my kids. I talked to one of the girls who I have believes about to join the mastermind. She said, I just want to take a month off in the summer and be with my kids, have my husband home, everybody just be together as a family. And I have a vision of an RV summer where we just get in this RV and we just a beautiful RV and we just go wherever we want to go, go explore some national parks and just spend that the summers with the boys. I don't want to have to like, and now summer camp sounds fun. Okay. So we'll probably do some of that at some point, but how cool would it be if like money was not an issue and I just got to spend months with my son in the summer, my son's in the summer. I want you to take a minute and I want you to write down, why do you want to be successful? Why? What, what are the lives that you get to impact and how will that impact your life and your family and your kids? Because if you don't tie that down and have a vision for it, you'll lose focus of it and you won't be able to achieve what I know you want to achieve and what you know you are capable of achieving. So I want you to take a minute and I want you to write down why, why, specifically why do you want to achieve what you want to achieve? And then I want you to write down what will it take to get there and who do you have to become to get there? And on your way to becoming what actions do you have to take to become that person? For me, I had to become someone who would pay premium dollar to get premium support and belief. And now it's changed my business. I, the, the multi-million dollar business owner version of Ashley, she invests in herself without hesitation. She doesn't make sporadic random investments like money here. No, she makes strategic, well thought out investments with the right people to get in the right rooms, to be challenged the right way, to get coached consistently so that she can have a thriving business and be a great mom. And I take some of my money and I go to therapy too. Oh, Karen, if you ever listen to this podcast, I love you. I spend money strategically and you can too. But you being the best version of you and the best business owner version of you, I don't believe is you sitting there behind your computer on your own, trying to do it all on your own forever. I really believe it's in community with other women who support you and challenge you and build you up because without that, it can be lonely and frustrating. And I don't want that for you. So I just want to say happy mother's day. I am so thankful that you listened to this episode. And again, I want to invite you to be a part of this community. I would love the opportunity to help you take your, your business that you've worked so hard to build and have that momentum on and really scale it. And that, that is what the mastermind, the marketing matters mastermind was created for. It's for you. So you can click apply on the link below. If you're just getting started with your business, I would encourage you to actually click the different link that is the find your leads challenge. I can't wait to meet you. I want you to know you are doing a fantastic job. It is a constant balance and you just being self-aware that it takes intention and practicing to, to get this juggling right so that you can focus time on your business and on your kids. 
you're not alone. We're all working really hard to do it. And um, I'm just proud of you. And I want you to know I see you and I can't wait to see you on the next episode.